let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got yet another can out of the Across the Nation collaboration pack by the Central City Brewers and Distillers. This one in collaboration with the Northwest Territories Brewing Company. It is called Midnight Ember, and it is a smoked stout coming in at 6.0% ABV. This one I actually kind of have some high hopes for. I like me a smoked beer, and... It's a stout, so it should still be somewhat okay. Uh, one of the people that commented on one of my recent videos, when I actually went up like this and full-on showed the date so you can see it, yeah, he said, it's old. He, he very much agreed that uh, very, very old beers in this pack and they should not have been released when they were released here in North Bay. Little bit of the bullshit. So, with that in mind, let's crack this open. I think the... I think last year, the Northwest Territories brew might have been the same brewery. I don't think there are a lot of breweries in the Northwest Territories. There aren't a lot of people in the Northwest Territories. Not a whole lot of head in that beer. It's okay. Thumbnail. Surprise, surprise. The beer is dark. How dark? Not really as dark as you'd think. Light is definitely making it through. Hmm. Interesting. A little bit of smokiness on the nose. Roasty, chocolatey kind of aroma. And some coffee. It smells alright. Let's give her a shot. Whoa. Wow. Bitter. Like, unexpectedly bitter. Not bad. Smokiness is there. Roasty. Just that bitterness is kind of weird. I like it. Nice lingering. Like I just chewed on a roasted coffee bean. I'm a fan of coffee beans. Not a fan of coffee. Love me a coffee bean though. It's a little unusual. It's not bad. One of the better ones I've had from the pack so far. Let's do this. A cheers, everybody. Already not getting as much bitterness. Very quick adaptation going on in my mouth. That's not bad at all. I'm sure if you can notice, this uh, sticker on this glass is on its last legs. I need to get some actual glasses made that aren't just decals on them, like have them actually made. But they're really not cheap to do that. And again, once I hit a thousand beers, I'm quite possibly going to be slowing down a little bit. So that's coming up in like 10 days now or something. I'm almost there. It's freaking freaky. Right. Yeah. This one here will be $9.90, I'm pretty sure. Crazy. We have a number of, like, and still, like, I've, I'll have had, well, I, I've already had over a thousand beers if you count the festival vlogs and the vlogs where, say, Marcel came over or whatever, where I had more than one beer. So, but, uh, I'm counting, I count that now as more than one beer. Like when I had the three of those in one vlog, I said vlog this, beer review this to this. Back when they were called daily drink vlogs, it wasn't really like that. Like I did for St. Patrick's Day the first year, I did four, three beers and a cider, I think. And one of them was Guinness with a shot of freaking rye dropped into it. Yeah. Um, nwtbrewingco.com will bring you to the Northwest Territories Brewing Company. A pretty cool looking bar. Obviously they serve more than just beer. I see a whole lot of spirits back there. I don't know if any of their beer 
makes it outside the Northwest Territories, aside from like the collaboration type stuff. I've never seen one of their beers in the LCBO or the beer store. Again, they are like a few, uh, at least a couple thousand. I don't know. Really, really far away in the basically opposite corner of the country from where I am. So I could see their beers maybe going to like the Yukon or into BC, Alberta, before they'd make it all the way over here. I don't know though. We could quickly kind of do a little look see and is there any our beers? That's what I wanted. We got a decent tap line right there. 3.5 barrel brew house. I don't understand. That seems like a tiny, tiny brew house. Like they're able to br to brew like three barrels of beer at a time. I think a barrel is more than a keg, generally. But they could be the same size. I don't even know. It's kind of interesting. Cream ale. I'm wondering about this. Somebody was telling me which cream ale was it that I had recently. I think it was one of these. And it had corn. I was like, that's random. Apparently corn is something that's supposed to be in an actual cream ale. Who knew? A lot of you probably. I don't know that kind of stuff. Uh, honey Bucket Nut Brown Bug Repellent IPA. I like that name. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it's not tiny. Seems like a pretty decent little setup. Huh. be really cool to go to more remote breweries like that like Sleeping Giant or Lake of the Woods or something like that although I say remote it's probably in like the main frickin town which is what Yellowknife is Northwest Territories and White Horse is the Yukon I think they are in Yellowknife I'm pretty sure that's what I just said look at me go Stuff, you should, stuff, stuff I should just know, but I don't know. It's been a long time since I've thought in my head, like, what is the capital of Northwest Territories? I couldn't tell you what the name of the place is in Nunavut. I don't think they even have a collaboration with Nunavut. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. It's entirely possible there is no brewery in Nunavut. like the the sad part of Canada almost very 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 poor up there and stuff is stupid expensive like I've seen like leaked pictures and stuff where a loaf of bread is like ten dollars and shit like that crazy I just I'm I feel very fortunate to be where I am I really do I also feel that it's been ten minutes so Gonna sit down and actually enjoy some of this, unlike so many other beers in this goddamn pack. <laughs> Pretty freaking decent beer right here. I can't really say anything bad about it, which is surprising considering the pack of death it came from. Sun never sets in Canada's far north. Not true at all. The Midnight Ember is a warming stout with a flavor inspired by the campfires of summer's endless days. In the summer. Sure, if you had said the sun never sets during the summer in the mo yeah, in the winter, it's like barely ever even daytime, I'm pretty sure. Um, do we have ingredients on here somewhere? We've not, seems to be the, the trend amongst these beers. Not sure why, but hey, whatever, whatever. Ratings go a little something like this. Untapped has 995 of them with 3.36 out of 5 overall. Beer Advocate 3.75 out of 5 with a massive 1 rating. And Rate Beer has 13 with 2.99 out of 5, so it's probably actually like 3.25 out of 5 or something because Rate Beer is an idiot. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So it's not hated, but it's not loved. And again, I don't love this. It's definitely not the best stout I've ever had, not the best smoked beer I've ever had, but it's it's what it says it is, and it's not bad. So, a drink number the last. Northwest Territories Brewing. 
and Central City Brewers and Distillers. Your Midnight Ember. Remember the damn name of it. Smoked Stout. Rating. I'm giving that an 8. I'd bump it up to an 8.5 if you had ingredients on there somewhere. But you don't. So, yeah. Have you had this beer? How fresh was it when you had it? Did it taste, I don't know, different? You wouldn't really be able to tell because we don't have the same taste buds. But I don't know. Leave me comments in the box down below because that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, smash the like button in the face. If you want to see more, you know, subscribe and then smack the bell notification around so you know when new videos are released and when I go live playing video games. And I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! <laughs> oh, that was awesome timing. The Northwest Territories Brewing Company coming in at 6.0% ABV. Get another can out of the... Really? Really? You ready? <laughs> Motherfucker.